Welcome to Invictus Porsche. We've got a Porsche 718 GT4. Ever since the Porsche 981 GT4 came out in sort of very early 2015, I've wanted to get myself a GT4 car. And today, not only do we have a Porsche 981 GT4 in stock, we've also got the Porsche 718 GT4 both in stock simultaneously. And there's a lot that I adore about the Porsche 718 GT4, but I also adore and absolutely love the Porsche 981 GT4. And in this video, I will be doing a slight comparison between the two, but I'll solely be driving this and I will pick what is my favorite of these two. I mean, you would think that one is more evolved, you just pick the later one. Let's just really find out, tell you a little bit about my driving experience, the performance differences between the two vehicles, and just overall, what an amazing cars both are. And while the Porsche 718 GT4 is what it is an absolutely awesome car and hopefully the clue is in there before i can delve into the review of this porsche 718 gt4 just wanted to say a massive thank you for subscribing if you're already a subscriber or if you're going to subscribe and leaving a comment and giving us a big like because we earn out of our youtube which we donate to a uk registered charity currently we have water wells project in afghanistan there are communities and villages that have to walk four or five kilometers for a clean source of water and that is usually a stream with grey water where we come in with our money that we earn out of YouTube and we actually install a water well in their village so thank you for that that you do for us so let's get into this and talk to you a little bit more about straight off the get-go by driving it I've got myself some proper shoes that I should be wearing to drive one of these and to actually get the true essence of what they're like to drive you've got to have the right footwear why i got these shoes is because the office shoes or trainers are normally no good because of the sole here as you can see in terms of the heel you see the little difference between how nicely it curves here versus versus this and you just get a much better grip wearing these sitting in the vehicle the the puma speed cats stylistically it is a very different car from the Porsche 718 GT4, from the 981 GT4. And let's just fit in and get used to what the inside of this is like over the Porsche 981 GT4. I've already done two other reviews on the 981 and the Porsche 718 GT4, but it's a car that I keep on revisiting purely because of the joy that it gives me to ride one of these. So from the get-go, on a cold start, what a lovely sound it makes. Porsche 718 GT4 when introduced in 2020 was a very welcome sight and one of the reasons is due to the fact this now has the 4 litre engine rather than rather than the 3 litre engine that we found in the Porsche 981 GT4 the, the, the sorry 4 litre I hope I haven't said 3 litre the 4 litre engine uh, derives from basically the same block that is used in the Porsche 911 992 Carrera S, the three litre. What Porsche GT department did was bore out an extra, um, you know, an extra, I think, I'd say two, two liners, uh, an extra 1,114 um, cc of capacity to put it into the GT4. Um, and it's a remarkable engine in itself, 4 litre, 414 bhp, 420 newton metres of torque and the not to 60 miles per hour is 4.3 seconds. And now when you compare this to the Porsche 981 GT4, that is, sorry, forgetting the top speed on this is 189 miles per hour. The Porsche 981 GT4, that is 380 or 85 bhp, 
420 newton meters of torque so the torque remains the same and the not to 60 miles per hour is 4.4 seconds so this is only 0.1 seconds quicker but where this is an absolutely incredible car is that this is 12 seconds quicker around Nürbur, uh, Nürburgring uh, in comparison to the Porsche 981 GT4 and lastly um, as I said the downforce god uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this 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 gives you you know 50% increase on the downforce hence why the handling is absolutely nuts I am going to switch on sports exhaust you can hear it now phasm on and auto blip Porsche 718 GT4 is a more usable Porsche that responds from the and the precision that you get from the six-speed manual transmission over the Porsche 981 GT4 way. I mean this is just in a league of its own and also the clutch is really what it's meant to be precise softer and just allows you to get a bit more out of your vehicle. And it finally makes the, the clutch, the transmission finally makes owning and driving the Porsche 981, sorry, the Porsche 718 GT4 something to look forward to, as opposed to it simply just being you know, a weekend car or one-off car that you take out on a trip. I mean, this is a Porsche 718. Is, is definitely something that, you know, I would take out and drive just more than what you would do with a Porsche 981 GT4. A 981 GT4 is nice to have as part of your collection, but, you know, if you want a car that's it's not just stunning aesthetically in your collection, but also has got the right characteristics from a driving point of view and just gives you everything that it needs to offer to you we've got to go with the Porsche 718 GT4 you know if you can find that extra I guess 10 15 thousand pounds this is what I will be getting now from a spec point of view this has got the sports chrono plus package the, uh, the Miami blue seat belts which is a lovely beautiful touch the metallic gentian blue, um, the phenomenal 20 inch Porsche 718 Spider GT4 alloys. Uh, the spec list on this is absolutely massive. And I think this is probably by far, in terms of a GT4, one of the best spec. Porsche 718 GT4 is currently available on the market and you've got all the right interior spec you know the Alcantara steering wheel the Alcantara uh, and leather combination uh, seats uh, the six-speed manual transmission the gear selector is also um, finished in Alcantara you've got the silver um, diamond stitching the silver uh, you know fabric uh, door handles uh, you know all of it gives you that slightly light weight touch feel to it but what it really comes down to at the end of the day is what it's like to drive uh, 
and that roll at about 4,000 RPM is now is really to, to be desired of something combined with the auto blip where it does the match wrapping for you, the rev matching for you. car that you can daily and live with every single day they're obviously the upgraded PCM with Apple CarPlay and the extra bit of torque available in the lower gears which makes it a beautiful to have and it's, it's a great thing to desire at the same time as well I mean I've been toying with the idea of doing a road trip and if I had to pick a Porsche out of our showroom to drive and put 2,000 miles on it will definitely be this it's done 6,592 miles words and what more I can describe about this mechanically from a performance point of view it is a very different car uh, as I've mentioned from the gear changes from the clutch feel from the four liter engine the fact where the engine is derived from and above all something that I forgot to mention is that the front suspension, that, that front geometry setup is from the Porsche 9, 911 991.1 GT3 and the rear suspension is a completely brand new suspension built for the GT4 variants. And now in terms of values, uh, they've done incredibly well holding their values. This, I mean the Porsche 981 GT4 is brand new, were about £70,000 and they still cost £70,000. These have now come to a sweet spot in terms of the price and it's held that price bracket of nearer £80,000 and it's going to hold its value extremely well because of just all the competition that is around the Porsche brand really. Aesthetically, the 718 GT4 is a completely different prospect to the Porsche 981 GT4, starting from the completely redesigned front bumper and also the rear bumper, which we will get into in a moment. You can also see the slight little details of the aerodynamic aspect of it here. And the aerodynamic aspects just in, doesn't just sort of end having the little detail here or the rework from bumper it actually runs to the underneath of the vehicles the side sills the side vents and this big huge rear wing at the back the big massive rear diffuser and above all what is completely different about is this section all the way at the bottom i mean just looking at it this looks like a very different car to the Porsche 981 GT4 and all of this means you get an extra 50% downforce that is absolutely huge especially if you're going to be driving this around a track or if you want something that is just that bit better from a driving handling point of view and above all the biggest difference is in how it drives and this is exactly what we have done for you and we've actually shown how much better that clutch the gearbox response is and just the gear changes being that bit more smoother and it's something that you can live with and daily and actually really enjoy on a trip as opposed to the Porsche 981 GT4 being an absolutely <laughs> workhorse of a car beautiful analog characterful but if you want a GT4 I think 
the 718 GT4 wins me wins me over every single time but again it just, just depends on people's budget now in terms of the number of former keepers this has got two keepers from brand new the current owner is the second owner she's had it for approximately two years it's got a two year circa two years Porsche warranty remaining with the main dealer and it's got a full Porsche service history the uh, next service because this is a 20 20 car the next service is due about now in December so that will get done hopefully before you collect it or you can get it done in your own time so once again thank you for watching our videos thank you for watching our content stay 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 subscribed and a massive thanks one more time for giving us your time and it goes into a good use such as that charitable cause see you next time bye bye